Uh, thank you, Kathleen, and uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, this workshop is about you, and this task force was formed to serve all of you. Uh, the good news is there's more help on the way if you want it uh, after tonight from the task force. There are uh, contact information sheets that are available in the back. Some of them may have been handed to you uh, before you came uh, and sat down, actually. Uh, if you're interested in being contacted back by the task force through Legal Aid Service, which is who I work for, uh, please fill out that information and one of our representatives will be back in touch with you. We have some uh, exciting uh, opportunities, we think, to maybe provide more help for you that you might want to take advantage of. I'd like to mention them quickly. Uh, we have a free clinic uh, that's going to be put on by two of our agency uh, panel members here that are credit counseling agencies and certified credit counseling agencies and certified foreclosure prevention specialists. Specifically, um, uh, Eddie Felton is going to speak in a few minutes, represents Homeowners Resource Center in Fort Myers. And we have uh, representatives of the uh, Collier County Housing Development Corporation, including Molly Whalen, who is going to speak in a few minutes. Um, they're going to put on a, a free clinic on Saturday, uh, June 21st, at the Legal Aid Office. We haven't quite figured out the hours yet, but uh, one of the steps, if you're interested in signing up for that event, is to fill out the client contact information sheet form back there, and, uh, and we'll get back in touch with you. Um, some of you, uh, if you are, are a low-income family at the present time, maybe some of you have lost employment, maybe one or both spouses, you may qualify for legal aid's free civil legal services, including uh, housing law issues and foreclosure matters. Uh, our contact information is in the packet. Um, to qualify for legal aid, it is based on an income test uh, tied to the federal poverty guidelines. Um, but please give us a call if you're interested in finding out if you qualify for our services. You may have uh, an attorney uh, assigned to represent you that's a staff attorney. Uh, Joe Klein, our housing attorney, is here. Uh, or you may be assigned to our pro bono uh, uh, section, which is the Collier Lawyers Care Program, which we work with folks from the Collier County Bar Association uh, to do that. Uh, the second event that I want to uh, mention is with the help and assistance of the Collier County Bar Association and the pro bono volunteers, and that is on July uh, 12th, Saturday, July 12th, we are planning to have a free foreclosure law pro bono clinic. Uh, and that will be um, something that you might be able to sign up for uh, through Legal Aid if you sign that contact information sheet. Um, and we would uh, pair you with a pro bono volunteer attorney, and they would give you advice and counsel and possibly even get involved in negotiations with your lender, much like the credit counseling services do. So uh, we invite you, if you're interested, to take advantage of those services. Again, we're here to help you. I just wanted to also uh, speak a little bit about how the foreclosure task force came to be uh, came to come about uh, basically uh, the task force was started by lawyers who care about their community and their neighbors in need these volunteer lawyers who are involved with the Collier County Bar Association and the real estate section of the bar and the Collier uh, uh, Lawyers Care Pro Bono Program through Legal Aid have given freely of their time and talent to help you folks. And uh, it's an honor to, to serve all of you as part of the task force and to work with such a talented and dedicated group of volunteers. Uh, we also have a website some of you may or may not have checked out yet. It's www.foreclosuretaskforce.blogspot.com. I know that's a mouthful. You don't have to write that down. It's on your packet on the cover sheet there. Uh, it's a multimedia website. We have uh, clips from radio shows that we've appeared on, some TV segments, and also news articles. We're also going to try to upload video from this event. So if you have any friends or neighbors or family members that weren't able to come here tonight, we hope to upload as much of this segment as we can from this program uh, for you to view online in the future. Uh, one last thing, I did promise uh, the uh, Collier County Sheriff's Office. I was at a steering committee of a new initiative that the Sheriff's Office has put together. It's the Community Safety Team's Neighborhood uh, Watch type concept that's uh, newly formed. 
there is a tips line that, that you can call, but the concept is because of this foreclosure crisis that we're in, as you know, there are many, many more abandoned homes this year at this time than there were last year at this time. And some of these homes have fallen into disrepair. They may even uh, have code violations that you suspect, or even worse, maybe some criminal activity. And if you're worried about your home's value and what might be happening to you while you're trying to solve your own situation, you can contact the sheriff's office through their tips line at 239 seven seven four eight four seven seven to report a situation or you know, that might be suspicious to you about an abandoned home in your neighborhood and uh, we ask that you uh, work with the sheriff's office if you can to put that together so anyway uh, I, there's a lot of great uh, speakers up here that uh, are going to help you out so I don't want to take any more time but again thank each and every one of you for coming out here we hope it's our sincere hope that this is of some assistance to you and this is just the first step in the first stage of what we're trying to do for you and for everyone else in Collier County uh, to try to give some uh, assistance on foreclosure prevention techniques. Thank you.